This episode of Ties I Help is brought to you by Gamefly. What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be reviewing the new iPhone 4S. So since the iPhone 4 has been out for a while and the iPhone 4S doesn't really look any different at all, I'm basically just going to be talking about the new features and giving my opinion on those and whether you should upgrade for those features. So we'll start off with my favorite feature, Siri, which is your personal assistant built into your iPhone. You can ask it anything. You can say random little things to it. It's fun to play with. It gives you some funny responses back. If you've seen my video called Playing with Siri, I did a lot of stuff like asking it some questions and it gives me some funny replies back uh, and it, it's entertaining but it does get bored quickly a lot I've seen a lot of people said that they're gonna get the iPhone 4s just to play with this but it does get bored quickly uh, don't get the iPhone 4s just to play with Siri but Siri is very useful at least for me I've been using it a lot in my car uh, when I'm driving down the road to get directions like if I'm somewhere I don't know how to get home or I'm wanting to go to a place I just do give me directions to this place and most of the time it worked some of the time it didn't uh, and some of the times it got some of the stuff right and I just had to change a little bit but it does help out getting directions while you're driving I just wish that it would read the directions to you uh, as you're driving don't know why the iPhone 4s does not have that by now another thing that I really like built in with Siri is the text-to-speech so if I want to I can uh, tell it to send a text message to somebody or I can uh, tweet something by seeing a text tweet uh, and that helps me a lot because I am one of those people that will text sometimes while driving I normally only do it if I'm at a stoplight, uh, but this made it easier. All I have to do is hit a button and I can talk, and it pretty much gets every word right. I actually was trying this with my windows down uh, in the car, and it understood every word I said. So, I mean, it works pretty well. Siri, send a text message to my girlfriend, Grayson. Okay, I can send a text to Grayson for you. What would you like it to say? I love you. I'm driving around our neighborhood awkwardly while you're filming me. This is weird. I updated your message. Ready to send it? Yes. So as you can see, it pretty much understood exactly what I was saying. The windows open, background noise, and it did a pretty good job at it. It's actually surprising how well it understands your words, uh, even though there's background stuff going on and background noise. If there's somebody talking in the background, it does pick it up sometimes, but it does do a very good job of trying to determine what is actually trying to be uh, told to it. So it'll forget all that stuff that it heard in the background and just focus on what you're asking it. It's also made me add a lot more events to my calendar where I normally wouldn't have just because I didn't feel like taking the time to go in my calendar and type in all the stuff where I can just now hit a button and just say it it adds it for me and it's very easy now this goes back to kind of just playing around with it but I know one of the things that I would want to use Siri for is just those questions where you're like I wonder and then you can just ask Siri for example I was like how many days is it till Christmas which that was on the commercial that's an obvious thing that it can do uh, but that was pretty interesting to me because I was like holy crap Christmas is only 10 weeks away which now it's even closer that's, that's pretty crazy but yeah just little questions where you normally wouldn't even take the time to find an answer it's pretty cool just to hit a button on your phone and, and ask it find out the answer to it right now it is only in English French and German so maybe they'll expand to more languages uh, I can't imagine you guys who got the iPhone 4s in other countries or that speak other languages they can't even use Siri so for Siri being in beta I think it works fantastic right now I'm excited to see where it heads in the future and maybe they'll even bring it to uh, MacBooks or computers uh, that would be awesome so overall I would say Siri is a win and now let's talk about the camera on the new iPhone 4s of course it shoots 1080p HD video it's got better white balance uh, better image stabilization so when you're actually walking and you're stepping or you got shaky hands uh, it's gonna stabilize the video out for you a lot better which works really really well uh, now for me with the 1080p video I actually didn't get to use this much because with my videos that I record from my iPhone, I don't take the time to import them in my computer. I actually just upload them directly to YouTube from my phone, which still uploads in 720p. I'm not sure why they didn't build a uh, feature in so you can upload the 1080p version, but uh, the 720p version from the iPhone 4s to the 720p version on the iPhone 4 does not look any different on YouTube, uh, so really it wasn't much an upgrade for me I don't really want to take the time to import it into my computer to get the 1080p video but if you do take the time to import it in your computer to get the 1080p video it looks really really nice especially compared to the iPhone 4's camera uh, the colors are much better it adjusts to light a lot better uh, and it just overall looks much better than the iPhone 4's camera but for me personally I didn't get much use out of the video on the iPhone 4s camera as far as pictures those look nice. Those are going to be much better because those you kind of want to import in your computer to put on Facebook and stuff like that. Those pictures look much better. Again, 
better colors, uh, better white balance. Uh, it, it just overall looks much better than the iPhone 4. With all the new camera upgrades and it being 8 megapixels, you don't really need to carry around a digital camera now if you have an iPhone 4S. The pictures look great. If you're trying to decide whether you should get the iPhone 4 or iPhone 4S or upgrade to the iPhone 4S uh, just for the video and pictures or the better camera, I personally wouldn't do it. It's a hundred bucks more than the iPhone 4. I'm happy with the pictures the iPhone 4 takes as well as the video uh, and that's just my opinion. Some of you guys may uh, think differently about that but I'm satisfied with the pictures on the iPhone 4 now. And now let's talk about speed. The iPhone 4S has the A5 processor compared to the iPhone 4 which has the A4 processor. Both are fast. Uh, and you will get a few seconds faster on the iPhone 4S, uh, depending on what you're doing. Games work a lot better on this. Uh, they look a lot better. They're a lot more brighter uh, and colorful uh, and just looks a lot more crisp. But at the same time, it's only a few seconds. Uh, it's not going to be that much of a difference. If you put the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 4S right beside each other, you will notice a difference. But if you're just having an iPhone 4 or an iPhone 4S alone, you're not really going to notice much of a difference in speed. If you guys seen my speed test, I was kind of over dramatic about how much faster it was. Uh, but for me, when I'm setting the phones right beside each other, it is a big difference. But when you're using them alone, you're not really going to notice if it's faster or not. They also upgraded the antenna and the signal on the iPhone 4S. Uh, they upgraded the antenna so you don't have the death grip issue. So when you actually like squeeze your phone or wrap your hands around it and connect the little two antennas together, you won't get that signal loss now. Uh, I haven't really noticed much of a difference. I didn't have too many problems with my iPhone 4 about that uh, because I had a case on mine anyways. Uh, but yeah, I haven't really noticed much difference in that uh, with the antenna on the iPhone 4S. With the AT&T iPhone 4S, they actually advertise that you get double the speed. Instead of 7.2, you get 14.4 megabytes per second, which I don't know what they were doing, what tests they were running, but they must have been standing right beside the cell tower to get these speeds. I have not got anywhere near that. It is faster than the iPhone 4, uh, but just like the, the speed with the A5 processor to the A4 processor, I don't really notice much of a difference unless I set the phones right beside each other. Before we wrap up this video, let's take one last look at our sponsor, Gamefly. Gamefly is the largest online video game rental service and offers you a choice of 7,000 new and classic titles on all consoles and handhelds. With plans starting at $15.95 a month, members can rent one to four games at a time and keep them for as long as they like. There are no late fees or due dates and shipping is always free. Once you're done playing, send it back and Gamefly will send you the next available game on your list. If you really like the game you're playing, simply click keep it on the Gamefly's website and the game is yours for a discounted price. Gamefly will even mail you the case and manuals free of charge. Ties that help viewers will get a 15 day free trial when they sign up at the URL gamefly.com slash tie. So now for my final thoughts. First off, I'm a tech reviewer. Most of my videos are based on the iPhone. So of course, I am going to upgrade to the newest and best thing. Uh, now if I was a regular consumer, would I have got the iPhone 4S over uh, my iPhone 4 or while I'm having my iPhone 4? No, just because it's not that much of an upgrade. Siri, camera, and it's faster a little bit. Uh, it's not really worth it to me, in my opinion, uh, to pay another 200 bucks to get just those features. Now I know a lot of people are complaining because there's not a design design change in the two, I wasn't complaining or expecting really there to be a design change that the rumors uh, were pointing to that, but I'm not going to not get it just because the design is not upgraded because I like this design anyways. Now if you're somebody that has the iPhone 3GS, the 4S may be the way to go because it's going to be much faster, it's going to be the newest device, newest design, uh, and everything for you. But the iPhone 4 may suit you just as well and save you a hundred bucks and not really be that much different. The iPhone 4 will be a lot faster and have better cameras than their iPhone 3GS so that'll be a good upgrade for you. I know Siri looks cool but I wouldn't go spending all the money on a new 4S just because it looks cool uh, because Siri is in beta. I'm sure it has a lot of growing to do and it will grow a lot uh, and it may even be better on future phones. If you're new to iPhones, I think the iPhone 4 is the best bet. This phone for a hundred bucks, that is a great price great phone and you're gonna love it. I'm not trying to say the iPhone 4S sucks or anything, it's still better than the iPhone 4 or any previous iPhones, but I don't think it's worth the $100 more than the iPhone 4 is. But that's just my opinion, let me know what you think about the new iPhone 4S in the comments below. Have you got it yet? Do you plan on getting it? If you do have it, what do you think about it and was it worth the upgrade? If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my videos, it's free and it'll let you know when I post a new one like this. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button because it helps me out a lot. And that's it, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.